this video is going to look at formatting cells and that means applying certain control over the information that you've added into a cell. It could be a label or it could be a value that you want to have specific properties. In this example I have typed in some age ranges so this was meant to be if I click in here 8 to 10 so if I write in 08-10 as soon as I exit that cell remember to confirm entries into a cell we do have to exit the cell either by pressing enter on the keyboard pressing a directional arrow on the keyboard one of the cursor keys or merely clicking on a different cell with the mouse that will confirm that entry and it's again I typed in 08 to 10 but the program has recognized that as a date and in the formula bar we can see it's 08 10 2012 and the same has happened with column C I typed in 11 to 15 and that's again 01 11 15 here I typed in 16 to 20 and because there can't be a date with those um, numbers it's not affected it so it's entered this as general text to format the cells the long way round to make sure that it shows what we want is to go up into the home ribbon and the cells group and here we have the format button do please be aware depending on the monitor resolution of your screen it may look slightly different but the word should always be viewable you should always be able to read the word format so if I click on format and here we can change the cell sizes so we've got row height and auto fit row height column width auto fit column width and default width and in the previous video we saw how we can manually change column width as well we've got another a number of other options on here but what we're looking for is at the very very bottom and that's format cells if I click on that button and that will bring up the format cells dialog box we've got a number of tabs number alignment font border fill and protection and what we're looking for at the moment is number we can see here that it's set to custom so it's saying day day month 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 we need to change that either to text or to general and that way it will tell the program to ignore trying to turn it into a date and just leave it as a piece of text so text format cells are treated as text even when a number is in the cell the cell is displayed exactly as entered so that's what we're looking for here the sample shows us what the text is going to become and it's going to become 41190 for some reason so if I click OK and that is now what is inserted into that cell and again all I'd have to do is retype the original information and it goes over the top the same is true for column C row 1 and again we could go to format and format cells a slightly simpler way of changing cell format is in the number group on the home tab we have a drop down list at the top here and this is number format choose how the values in a cell are displayed as percentage as currency as date and time etc so again we've got the custom option displayed if I click on the drop down arrow we've got general number currency accounting short date long date so it is very very similar to the format cells dialog box in fact if I say more number formats that again brings up that format cells dialog box in this instance all I have to do is again select text and this time the text would be 42309 and we can see that's inserted into the cell and then again I just type in the information I want with some changes when you've formatted a cell or when you're working with formula as we'll see in f uh, further videos you might get that little arrow popping up to the top left hand side of a cell and that is displaying a warning saying that the program thinks you've got something wrong 
in this, it's still trying to make sure that I'm typing in the date. So if I clicked on any one of these options at the top, it would change the date or change the information again. In this instance, I do want it as text, just so that I can have that age range. And if I click on the warning, we can say ignore error. And that will remove that annoying little arrow. Another reason to format cells is again to show specific information. If I go into the bills spreadsheet, here we're working with the cost of amenities and such. So it might be that I want to display a pound sign and decimal figures. Again all we'd need to do to format that cell is either select format format cells and this brings up the format cells dialog box or we could use the drop down arrow or and this is the pop out dialog box for the number group and that again just brings us straight back to the format cells dialog box so there's three different ways in which we can get to this dialog box but a slightly simpler way of applying uh, currency symbols is to select currency or accounting if we just go with currency that will add in a pound sign and two decimal places if we know we're formatting a number of cells what we can do is select the cells to begin with and then apply the format to select numerous cells all we have to do is position the mouse cursor inside the first cell and when it's selected and we have the fat white plus symbol press and hold the left mouse button and drag the cursor down and that will select all of those cells identified by the black border around all of them and the blue highlight do be aware that the first cell that you selected will always be a different color it will always be that white color the same as all of the rest of the cells on the worksheet and that's just so that you know where you've started from so once we've got our cells selected if I again choose currency and that will apply the change to all of those cells the main difference between currency and accounting is that the spacing of the numbers will be slightly different they're spaced so that all of the units, tens, hundreds, thousands and so on are neatly lined up and the pound sign is not in the way and I do personally prefer accounting as a layout because it makes it slightly easier to see so that is formatting cells again all we have to do if we're formatting multiple cells is highlight all of them and then select the change that we want just to be slightly um, so that we can be aware of additional options if I undo all that work we also in the number group have this button here which is the accounting number format and here we could choose different formats quite easily so you can very quickly apply a currency symbol just by clicking on that button and you see in the number format box at the very top of the number group it's again changed it to accounting so there are a number of different ways in which we can make changes to a cell